Hey everybody, it's Brett and this 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited with the black appearance package is stock number 24J55. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Grand Cherokee headquarters. This 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine with electronic start stop. It's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. This one's gonna get you 26 miles per gallon on the highway, 19 city, and an average of 22 miles per gallon. Uh, this one has a couple nice options on it. It has the black appearance package. This one also has the luxury tech group two, and it has the panoramic uh, sunroof, vista roof on there. It also has the passenger interactive display. So I'm going to show you all that in the video, go around the vehicle, show you all the options, take a look at the uh, original window sticker and all that good stuff in the video. Rocky Mountain Pearl Coat is the color. This was a new color for the new body style Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's uh, paint code PFJ if you're curious. And I'll show you the metal flake in it. It's got a lot of different colors to make up the Rocky Mountain Brown. You can see some golds, some greens, even some blues and yellows in that paint to make that color up. So really a cool color. Looks black at night. Uh, coming around the front here, you get the LED headlamps, LED running lights, and the limited package does give you the LED fog lamps. I'll turn those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are. The luxury tech group uh, two gives you the front bumper parking sensors and note all the gloss black grille and Jeep lettering on there. That's all part of the black appearance package as well as the surrounds on the fog lights there. The black appearance package also gives you the 20 inch painted black alloy wheels and it comes with Pirelli Scorpion Verde 265.50 R20 tires, kind of an all season uh, tread pattern to them. And you also get the blacked out mirror bezels and door trim on there as well with that black appearance package. And of course the Grand Cherokee lettering is all blacked out as well. Take a look at the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything, but I will go through most of it for you. 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited 4x4 Rocky Mountain Pearl Coat is the exterior color. Global black interior, Capri leatherette, access to seats, the 3.6 liter V6 uh, with the electronic start stop and the 8 speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is standard equipment, including the Quadratrack 2 system, uh, select terrain system, remote start, power lift gate. And what standard equipment means is that this is what the limited package comes with uh, right out of the gate. So this isn't what the Grand Cherokee comes with, but the trim level limited. This is all the stuff that comes with that. So feel free to take a look at all that there, pause it, see if it's got everything you need. And then interior features, this one gives you the Uconnect 5 with the 10.1 inch touchscreen, a standard Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, Jeep connected services, GPS navigation, heated seats, heated steering wheel, heated second row seats, and uh, all your power driver stuff there. Then the exterior features, obviously the 265 60R18 tires are replaced with that black appearance group. Optional equipment starts right here. The Rocky Mountain Pearl Coat is $595. The Luxury Tech Group 2 is a $2775 option that gives you the Capri Leatherette access to seats, the ventilated front seats, intersection collision assist system, park sense front and rear park assist with stop, surround view camera system, the rain sensitive windshield wipers, rear view auto dimming digital display mirror, uh, rear backup camera washer, integrated off road camera manual second row window shades, automatic dimming exterior driver mirror, the door and liftgate passive entry, and the memory steering column, power tilt and telescopic steering wheel, and then the black appearance package is a $25, $75 option, gives you the 20-inch gloss black wheels, 
the performance all season tires and then the gloss black accents on the outside dual pane panoramic sunroof is 2365 and the front passenger interactive display is 1095 total msrp on this one is 61430 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular jeep grand cherokee in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below is a link to this vehicle on our website with all the incentives, uh, three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. Also reach out to one of our sales representatives. There may be more, there may be more uh, incentives that you may qualify that they have to look you up for. So definitely give them a shout. Uh, 26 highway, 19 city, 22 average, uh, kind of in the middle for uh, fuel economy and gas rating and smog rating. And then the uh, big thing for me on Grand Cherokees has always been the safety uh, five stars for everything that's been uh, rated because this is a 24 they probably haven't got around to rating everything yet but i would assume the rest is going to be five stars as well because the grand cherokees are always a very safe vehicle um, always have been ever since i've been doing these videos on these new grand cherokees they've always been extremely safe when it comes to the um, government crash test ratings you do get the LED tail lamps. Note the black accent in the center there with the Jeep logo, the Limited and 4x4 also blacked out. It does have a power lift gate. Also the, I know it's kind of t tough to tell because the Rocky Mountain does look so dark, but this is actually gloss black and then this is the Rocky Mountain right there. And you can see that that's Rocky Mountain and that's the gloss black right there. So it's back storage area, plenty of storage back here. One of the coolest Easter eggs I think that Jeep's done on these Grand Cherokees is they've made the silhouettes of all the different body styles of the Grand Cherokee since they were new. Uh, just kind of a neat little thing in the window there. There's also a Jeep climbing up that window too. You do get a compact spare tire back here. 12 volt power point, these seats do fold down nice and flat. And to get this gate down, you press this button right there. It'll beep at you three times and then begin its descent. All the Grand Cherokees now come with the capless fuel fill, which is a really nice feature. Never get gas on your hands again. Just show you the back seats real quick. So these seats are heated on the outboard side, meaning the passenger side and the driver's side seats are heated. You also have factory floor mats. Back here is your USBs, USB-Cs, 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. And then you get your heated seat buttons right there as well. Note the gloss black accents on the interior as well. Let's get these seats down. Just press that lever there or pull that lever it goes down nice and flat there's um, hardly any way that anything can fall in between there because this is one piece right here you can see just how nice and flat that goes down which is great if you're hauling a bunch of extra stuff so the luxury tech group 2 also gives you these window shades which is really nice if you got children sitting in the back or anybody sitting in the back protect yourself from the sun there Get the wood grain trim on the doors. It does have child safety locks on those doors as well. Enter and go system. You can always tell if it has it by these three little lines there. You get the heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring, built-in directional signals on there as well. Inside the Capri leatherette access to bucket seats. Both these seats are heated, cooled, and power and lumbar on the driver's seat factory floor mats up here as well auto headlamps power telescopic and tilt get the wood grain trim the nice gloss black accents on there as well memory driver's seat power windows locks and mirrors hop inside take a look at the instrument cluster here as well as the radio so you get the 12 inch digital display here and uh, you get your digital speedometer compass display outside temperature display lane departure warning uh, there's just a bunch of different settings this is your driver assist uh, you can go down to your vehicle information you get oil life tire pressure start stop fuel economy gauge summary back to oil life 
trip information, off-road mode terrain status. So that changes when you switch your uh, terrain thing here. So I can go sport, I can go auto, I can go snow, slippery conditions, and then sand and mud. So really cool stuff you can do with this system. And then we have audio, messages, settings, and then back to driver info. So you get is that seven different panels you can look at in there. Comes with the heated leather wrap steering wheel. I really like the leather that Jeep's using on all their steering wheels this year, um, as well as Ram. It's like a, it's more durable, but it's like a soft touch leather. It's really cool. Um, cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls. I'm pretty sure any Grand Cherokee is going to come with adaptive cruise controls. Now they've pretty much made that a standard feature. Bluetooth and information center controls. You can also change the screen up to uh, show the different panels right there if you like that view better. Um, I like the classic single panel. And then there's audio controls on the back of the steering wheel as well as paddle shifters. You get the wood grain trim inlaid on the inside of the steering wheel there. This is the Uconnect 5 10.1 inch radio. It has just about everything you could ask for as well as uh, all the radio settings, AM, FM, Sirius, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary hookups, Alexa, all that good stuff. You have your climate controls here, including your dual climate controls, heated and cooled seat buttons. Uh, you can control everything up there, or you can control it down here with the more tactile buttons. This one does have the factory navigation system, and there's Highway 41, so that is working nicely. And you say, Brad, it's a brand new vehicle. I have seen these come in where the, where the radio is all messed up and it doesn't know where, you were at, where you're at. So that's why I always like showing it. Uh, and then you get the sound, I'm sorry, the surround view cameras, um, which are pretty neat. You get the surround view there. You get the backup camera. You get the wide view of the backup camera. You get the wide view of the front camera, the narrow view of the front camera. And then, of course, just your normal backup camera. You can zoom in on where a hitch would be if you'd put one on here. And then you get the front camera with the, uh, those lines are dynamic, meaning that they turn as I turn that steering wheel. So that's really cool. And uh, why that's cool is if you're off-roading or you're you know going through the woods or something, you wanna make sure you're not gonna hit a rock or a tree or something. It's uh, nice to have that and then you can clean the camera. Must be just the back camera that gets the cleaning. Anyways. Or we got to put some washer fluid in there. So those are all the cameras. Uh, really cool system. You have your apps on here. I'm not going to go through every one of these, but just kind of show you, you know, what is available. If you ever want me to do a full deep dive into this radio, just let me know. So far, I don't have any takers on that. Um, you get the off-road pages. I'll show you those in just a second because I think they're pretty cool. So this is your off-road pages. You get your steering angle if the transfer case is locked or unlocked. Once again, as I turn that steering wheel, you can see that angle changes and the wheels up top actually move. So that's pretty cool. And then you get your accessory gauges, pitch and roll. No, it's actually reading the roll in here. That's cool. Um, normally the GPS isn't available and then you have your select terrain so once again if i hit this that changes up there just a different graphical representation do the sport with the racetrack there it's kind of neat and then you can uh, do breadcrumbs and record latitude longitude altitude so a lot of really cool stuff you can do with this radio and then uh system and other so that's the whole radio the other thing i wanted to show you is you get the passenger interactive display and this is pretty cool. I'm assuming you could hook up a gaming system on this screen by plugging into the HDMI there. If you had a power source, which you've got a 115 volt, 150 watt plug in the back, I would assume you could hook up a gaming system and play uh, games right on that radio. Um, I haven't played around with the, you can do wireless headphones to it. Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this screen. I think you can even control the navigation system from there uh, to help the driver. Anyways, you get the black surround on there. Looks really good. Wood grain trim, 
goes down the dash right into the door. Really a good look. Nicely done uh, by Jeep on this redesign. Second row fixed glass, power sunroof in the front, assistant SOS buttons, map lights, and then you got your sunshade controls, sunroof controls. So just press it once and it'll come up to the middle and then you gotta press it again. Oh, actually, that's going to go all the way. So if you didn't want the sunlight in, just do that, and it's like a normal headliner. Um, and then you can open the sunroof as well. It has the rearview mirror camera, so it's an actually a video display of what's going on behind you, which is pretty cool. Once again, if you didn't like that, you can turn that off, and then it's just a normal camera, or rearview mirror, I should say. Or you can turn it on make it a camera you can adjust the height you can uh, make it brighter or dimmer uh, so that's pretty cool you also get your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on all the lights here and do a final walk around i'm also going to turn off the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how nice and bright these led lights are let me know what you think of the color rocky mountain pearl if you like it uh, give me a thumbs up and make a comment in the comments section below on YouTube. So give me one second. I'm going to turn off all the lights and then we'll do a final walk around here. All right, we got all the lights off in the picture studio. You can see that the front of the Jeep is very distinctive. You get the yellow LED lights on the top there. You also get the normal LED headlights, the LED fog lamps, and they're all angled perfectly. So you can definitely tell which vehicle's coming down the road. The uh, fender lights are illuminated as well. You can see just how bright those lights are. And the big thing for me is just how wide they go. I mean, look at it's It's shining off, way off into the distance on both sides. So it illuminates very nicely all the way across your uh, field of vision there. So really nice job by Jeep with the lighting system on here. You also get the LED tail lamps. Um, they've been proven to shine faster, brighter uh, than normal halogens. So just a safety feature back here. They also look really good as well. So that is everything I have on this 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. And one thing to note, I, uh, so I book in all the vehicles here um, from a description standpoint. And how I do that is through, you know, I, because we get a lot of vehicles that are very similar to each other. Uh, if the MSRP is the same, it's pretty much exactly the same vehicle, just different colors. So what I'll do is I'll take a description from one with the same MSRP and put it on the other uh, and change the color on it. So what happens is uh, when a model year switchover happens, usually a price increase incurs. Um, for the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokees, I have not seen a price increase. Everything's exactly the same as the 2023s. So just an interesting note there. I'm sure there's a difference in rebates from the 2023s to the 2024s. So that would be your big difference right there. But from a base price and a final price MSRP, right now they're pretty much exactly the same as the 2023s. So thanks for checking out the video to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Grand Cherokees, Cherokees, Grand Cherokee Ls, Wagoneers, Grand Wagoneers, you name it, we got it. Go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as have it access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and Jeep Grand Cherokee walkarounds on YouTube, almost 9,000 videos and counting. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Grand Cherokee videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited Black Appearance Package with the Luxury Tech Group 2 in Rocky Mountain Pearl Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it, and definitely go check us out. We have one of the largest selections of Grand Cherokees, new and used, in the Midwest. Not kidding, over like 100 Grand Cherokees, it's crazy. But go check us out at the website. Thanks again for watching, and remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.